This is what our finished uh, interactive TOC, which is short for Table of Contents, is going to look like. And as I have shown you previously, these are all going to be live links. And the page numbers will all be generated automatically. In fact, this whole thing will be generated automatically by InDesign. And I'm going to show you now how to accomplish that. We have already created one of the styles we're going to need, which is font title, but we need a few more paragraph styles. So first, we're going to create TOC title, and TOC stands for Table of Contents, TOC, and that is going to style the title at the head of our Table of Contents. Now, if you don't have the fonts that I have, that's totally fine. You can just substitute other fonts. So I'm going to do Gaudi Old Style Standard and 18 point. And if you like, you can choose a character color. So I'll make mine blue and say 80%. Click OK. So now that style is added to our paragraph styles. The paragraph style we'll need is going to be called TOC text. So new paragraph style. And that will style the basic body of our table of contents. This should be based on no paragraph style. Basic character formats, we're going to use Myriad Pro, semi-bold condensed. And you can substitute something else if you don't have this. We'll let our type size be 16. I have to type that in because it's not in the list. And our letting will be 24. Now, of course, you can adjust these later, uh, but this gives us a good starting point. And I'd also like to go to Open Type Features and choose Proportional Old Style and click OK. So now we have that new style. Our next style will be a character style. So we're going to switch down here to the character style menus. New character style. This is going to style the numbers, uh, the page numbers. So we will call those TOC figures. And you may recall that figures is the graphic design or the typography term for numbers. And for our basic character formats, we don't want it based on anything. For our basic character formats, uh, we can choose Myriad Pro Bold. The style is going to be bold. Our size uh, will still be 16 point. We want that to be the same as our TOC text. And you can just leave the letting blank here. And for color, um, you can choose a color if you like. It's kind of up to you. I'm going to choose a, an 80% blue again. And we definitely want to have uh, open type features here the figure style, proportional old style, and click OK. Now, there's going to be one optional character style, and this one is optional, but uh, let's go ahead and do it. What it will be doing is styling the dots here, what are called the tab leaders. Uh, this isn't essential, but it's, it's kind of nice to have it, and so we might as well go ahead and make one. So let's go ahead and create a new character style, and we're going to call it tab leaders. And all I'm going to, uh, I don't really want it, well, it could be based on TOC figures, but uh, I really don't want it based on anything. And when we go to basic character formats, if all of this is blank, then the only thing it's going to do really is style the color. And I, I like the tab leaders to be lighter. I don't like having them really dark. So I'm going to go to a kind of a light color here and choose that for my tab leader. OK, so now we're ready to go and create our interactive table of contents. Layout, table of contents. 
uh, title, what's up here is going to be whatever you want to be at the head of your table of contents. So you might want to put your name up here. I'm calling it my favorite fonts. And here's where we start to use our styles. This is going to style that title. So when we go to this, we'll see the styles we previously created, and we're going to choose TOC title. Once again, you can change this. Now, styles in table of contents, this is the most important because this is telling InDesign which of these styles it's going to create table of content entries for. When you've selected font title, this add button will come alive. Just click once on that and font title comes over here. So styles and table of contents include paragraph style, font title. Now the entry style, this is where we'll use our TOC text. This style is going to style that. Page number after entry, style. This is going to style the page numbers. So we'll choose TOC figures. Between entry and number, select that caret T and choose right indent tab. That will give you caret Y. And between entry and number are going to be those little tab leaders. Uh, we're going to add those in a minute. Uh, but go ahead and put the style on there tab leaders. Down here in the options box you want create PDF bookmarks and you also want make text anchor in source paragraphs. Do not check this one. Sort entries in alphabetical order. Leave that unchecked. So go ahead now and click OK. Uh, no, we do not. Now you should get a loaded text icon, and I'm going to place mine a little bit over to the right here. Draw out a text frame, and here we can see that all of our fonts are listed, and all of the page numbers are listed. The only thing we're missing here is the tab leaders. In order to create the tab leaders, we're going to edit the style TOC text, which is styling this text area. So. Go into your paragraph styles, open up TOC text, go to tabs, and here you're just going to click anywhere in the tab ruler. It doesn't matter where. When you do that, this little leader box will wake up. Type in a space and a period. If you kind of check and uncheck preview here, you'll see the tab leaders are there. That's great. Click OK. Now, one of the beauties of this TOC function is that as I add or reorder pages, it can update. And uh, let's just prove that to ourselves and add a page, a couple of pages, really quickly. Going to my Pages panel, Insert Pages, let's insert two pages at the end of the document based on Master A. Go to those new pages. Uh, you may recall that when we created our master page, we applied font title to this style and nowhere else. So I'm going to call this new page one and go to the next one. Unlock that box by shift clicking on it. And I'm just going to call that new page 2. Let's see if those can appear in our table of contents. When we go back to the table of contents, they're not there yet, but if we click our type cursor in there and just go to layout, update table of contents. No. Beautiful. There's my new page one and my new page two. Uh, likewise, if we decide to reorder our pages, for example, if I were to take my new page two and move it up here, 
So it's after page 9. Once again, put my cursor in there. Update table of contents. And bingo! My table of contents has been updated. You can imagine very easily what a boon this is when you are working on a complicated document where pages are being added and, de and uh, deleted and possibly reordered. This allows you to update very, very quickly without a lot of tedious work. Now, I'm going to do another short video of how to troubleshoot a table of contents because very often if your styles have not been exactly correctly applied, you can end up with all kinds of unexpected things. So I'm going to take a moment and kind of mess this file up a little bit and then show you how to troubleshoot and how to figure out what might have gone wrong if your table of contents is, is not exactly the way that you expect.